Hey guys, it's Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you how to create this, this graphic using Adobe Illustrator today, and mostly we're going to be using an image and the pen tool. So here I've got an image from Pixabay, as you'd guess. So it's a bit time consuming to go over all of this image with the pen tool, but that's what we're going to do. So let's grab the pen tool. Let's start at the edge here. So I'm just clicking and pulling and I'm actually trying to get as, as much of the detail as I can. I mean, it's hard to see when it's, uh, when you zoom in and you pick, it gets a little bit pixelated, but we want it to be recognizable. That's the idea. Anytime you make a mistake, you can just press Control Z on the keyboard and go back to the point where you were when it was okay. Pressing the space bar to move over, pan the page a little bit.
Now, it's a bit time consuming, but if you're selling something like a t-shirt, you know, you can sell that design over and over and over again. If you're selling something like a logo, you want to make sure that you're getting paid worth your time. Getting to the end here. It's quite a detailed little mountain. Where are we? Okay. So I'm just going to come over to this here. Find the rest of our graphic. Okay. So there we have it. That's how you can do that. Now I'm going to get rid of the photo, which I've locked. Object unlock all. And I'll just get rid of it for now. So now we've got to trap this in half a circle. So let's get our circles tool out. Click on that. Press Alt and Control. And we'll create a perfectly round circle. I'm going to get out the eyedropper tool and I'll give it this nice bright yellow. And I'll drop that to the bottom using, actually, I'll just right click here. So arrange, bring to, or send to back, shift, control, and left parentheses. That's the one you want. And that in itself looks pretty cool. But um, we're going to shrink this down. We actually are using only a half a circle. So I'm going to cut it in half. Press shift and we'll go to the Pathfinder menu and we'll click minus front. Okay, so there's our half circle. I'm going to raise this to the top. Uh, shift control parentheses. What is that? Arrange. Bring to front. So it's the other parentheses. Okay, so you can see where we're going here. We're just about positioning right now. And then, you know, after that, you're choosing a font. Uh, this one is, it's called Attriment. If you want to get that from Adobe Type Kit, it's available. Or you can use whatever font you like. And you see, I've got a rough texture on here too. I've got a few of them. If I think of it, I'll, I'll, um, I'll put it on the website for you to download and install or, uh, or use for yourself. center this all right let's uh, let's control C control F we'll duplicate this this yellow piece here and I'll bring that to the front press shift and I don't think it's gonna let me do an intersection but we'll see whoops Alright, so I'll send this to the back, and there's my graphic. I'll change the color. I chose um, black and yellow because it just tends to stand out really, really well. Um, I think it's actually this darker yellow right here. That's better. And I'm just going to grab the pen tool because you'll see how I've made that piece there. So I'm just going to kind of level it out a little bit that's a personal choice uh, okay so then all you need after this is a little bit of texture and some font and away you go that's how you can create this graphic pretty easily and um, thanks for watching